Armando, get up. Jed, turn one of the leopards loose. They can't be too far away. Johnson, let him go. The Phantom, the natives call him the ghost who walks, the Tom-Tom call him when he walks, the Phantom, the Phantom. I can't make... Don't. Come on. The cats are coming. You can make it. Lieutenant? Yes, sir. I want to show you the report on that convict you saved last night. It happens to be Vince Howard, my undercover agent at the Harris Plantation. What was Vince working on? Some rather unusual death reports. Irregularities in the treatment of a prisoner. Even milking them was on their money. Why wasn't their contract canceled? No proof. Doesn't sound pucker to me. Well, apparently your man was close to the ankle. Commissioner Mallory here. Speaking. Yes. Yeah. The hospital. Oh, well, how is he? Uh oh. He did. Just a moment. I think we have something here. What did he say? Tell Hardy. Barney will die. Mrs. Harris. Is that all? And thanks awfully. Bit of a riddle, what? I'd like to finish the job for Vince. Rather a nasty mess out there. And how am I going to keep in touch with you? We'll use devil. Does that answer your question? Where would you stop? 
Those three names. Hardy, Barney, and Mrs. Harris. You won't escape with this leopard bait I'm spraying on you. How many bones heads you got today? I got four for your pick and shuffle game, Jed. Healthy? Well, one of them looks like he got a knot on the side of his head, but three out of four isn't bad. Well, I'll put a knot on the other side of his head. He don't behave himself around here. Here's Mrs. Harris. Her word's law on this plantation, and that's one law that nobody breaks. Now, she gets paid for every mile of road that she pushes through this rotten jungle. If she don't deliver, she don't get paid. Now, don't anybody get the idea of laying down on the job. You're here to work, and I'm here to see that you do. And remember, no one escapes. Do they, baby? All right. Come on, I'll get you your gear. And I'm going to spray you down with leopard bait. Give him some blankets, Hardy. You got some of that medicine for me, Doc? Have you got the money? Yeah, I got it. This wasn't easy to come by. You plan on a break, Mike. What do you care? You got your money. You'll never make it. Don't forget, you're covered the leopard bait. I'll make it. Bait or no bait, I got a plan. medicine you've been given, Barney. It, it don't seem to be helping much. All right. Let's take a look at them. <coughs> What's you been treated for? Anemia and asthma, so Doc says. He should be in a hospital. We got another file deal going. Here's the money. Who did you sell it to this guy? Big Mike. We'll give him a search as soon as the doc's gone. No, we need Big Mike. We just keep an eye on him. While they're at it, I keep an eye on that new man, Walker. Why? Well, he's... Real smart. He got curious about Barney. It just doesn't add up. Think maybe the commissioner sent him down here to spy on us? If there's any doubt, he goes. Well, what are we going to do, boss? Set him up for a break like we did Vince? No. We'll use Big Mike. He'll get rid of Mr. Walker for us.
get well. We got plans. He's got a small plantation. We're going to work it when we get out of this stinking old. Did you or Barney ever see or hear anything out of the ordinary around here? I don't follow you. Anything that Mrs. Harris or Jed wouldn't want the authorities to know about. He told me he saw Mrs. Harris go Big Mike into beating a prisoner to death. Maybe that's why they're letting Barney die. Hardy, I can help you get Barney out of here. How? Oh. By your testifying against Mrs. Harris and the others. Vince said the same thing. But he didn't get out. I heard all about it. Nobody gets out. Not with those cats around.